So I served with the 1st Battalion Light Infantry. I was discharged from the Army in 2001, struck 2002. Uh, I served in Northern Ireland. When I, when I first went over there, we were sort of hit by petrol bombs and, yeah, and, and the, petrol, sort of, the petrol bomb come over and smashed off the thing and, you know, I was sort of doused in petrol and obviously up in flames. Yeah, I was, I was, I was terrified because um, when, it, when it, it was all sort of happened really quickly, but it was really slow as well. So, um, I remember opening my eyes and sort of just seeing flames sort of lick up um, underneath, like underneath my visor. So yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was frightening, it was scary. But it obviously affected me more than what I thought, um, because it, it was then, you know, I, thought, I think then realistically the PTSD wheel started sort of, you know, started moving, and it was, um, it was my wife who noticed. Um, because I've always been sort of quite a bubbly, sort of you know, outgoing type of person, um, and then all of a sudden I just went completely dark, just completely sort of, you know, in in, in a shell, and just I, I was just a different person altogether. So the, the emotional side of it just sort of took over um, to the point again where you know I thought, well, you know what, I'll do the world a favour and I'll I'll sort of get gone. Essentially, I got out and I was kind of at a loss as to what I was going to do. So I got in contact with Help for Heroes and I got um, a key worker. Um, and then just sort of over time, you know, after maybe sort of the fourth or the fifth meeting with her, you know, I was, I, was, I was breaking down in tears, I was in bits, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't understand this emotion because I'm not normally like that. Normally I, I will not show me emotion like that. It was, it was a relief, if anything. The, the most important thing that's ever happened to me is without, shout, without a shadow of a doubt the, the Pathfinder, of course, because it helps you find your path again, you know, um, it puts you in a direction that you maybe didn't think was possible. It flipped from PTSD having hold of me to me having hold of the PTSD. It, it literally, it literally did save my life. Spartan Force started um, on the first, because uh, there was three phases of the Pathfinder. On the first, on the first, um, on the first one, I was really, really inspired and I thought, man, Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Spartan Force, it was, um, it was set up um, to help veterans um, get back in, well, help with the transition from sort of military back to civilian through uh, work placements in professional. It was, it was professional football clubs at first, but it's kind of, the horizon's broadening a little bit now. Just take work out of it, take everything out of it and get back to basics. My relationship with my wife, my kids, my mum, my dad, brothers, sisters, friends, family, you know, I'm almost sort of back to where I was, and that for me is more important than anything. Um, because if I if I look at if I look at where I was two years ago to now, you know, to where I am and sort of what what I'm what I'm achieving now, my destiny was a wooden box six foot under. Um, and thinking about it now, it's it's quite quite frightening. So how did I feel before before Hell for Heroes? Um, just worthless now afterwards now after you know i've gone through the whole pathfinder experience and, and where i am now for the first time in a long time i'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself <laughs>